Let us now get into the second topic of this session. In this topic, we will understand and look at what Mintzberg modes of strategic decision making is involved with. Mintzberg or Henry Mintzberg has given three most typical approaches of strategic decision or strategic making. Now these include the entrepreneurial mode, the adaptive mode and planning mode. The entrepreneurial mode is that where an entrepreneur goes ahead and implements or, become, or formulates strategies. So he talks about every employee being an, in, as an entrepreneur. If every employee is able to think as an entrepreneur, they are able to come out with better strategies, they are able to come out with better, uh, better decisions or they are able to make better decisions for the organization because they are in the entrepreneurial mode. The second one is the adaptive mode. This is also known as muddling through. When we call as muddling through, this is this particular uh, uh, this particular mode of decision making does not look at proactive decisions. They look at reactive decisions. When I say reactive decisions, whatever is the existing problem or existing issue, how do we solve this? So we have a problem on hand, we are trying to solve the problem which is there that is existing. So we, it's a solution based decision making or a solution based strategy where we are reacting to the problem or the issue that we have on hand. Generally the governmental departments, hospitals and universities adopt this adaptive mode because they do not or they are not proactive. When they have an issue, they try to solve that particular issue or they bring out a strategy that can solve the particular issue. So this is known as the adaptive mode. The last mode is the planning mode. Halbert Packard is the important company which has decided on the planning mode. They decided that just being in, in, in a segment of product is not sufficient, they need to diversify. So they go ahead and plan different strategies. They go ahead and plan different products that can be introduced for various people who can use the products. So planning mode becomes another very very important aspect as far as Mintzberg is concerned. So Mintzberg says that these are the three basic modes or important modes of decision making which help the organization move forward which also improves or motivates the performance of the people in the organization because if the people in the organizations are not motivated they do not perform well then the such organizations do not move forward. There could be a failure of these organizations organization. So when we adopt these three types of approaches, then it, it becomes easier for the employees to adapt themselves or adjust themselves to various situations and they adapt these different types of modes of uh, the strategic formulation or decision making. The last one is the fourth or mode which is also known as logical incremental mode. This was later added by Quinn to the Henry Mintzberg modes. Logical incrementalization means logically improving the situation, step by step improving the situation or the performance of the organization. You try to come out with a strategy for a particular situation, then once that particular strategy works, you move on to the next level, you move on to the next step. So you take a logical decision and you do it step by step and this helps the organization in moving forward step by step. The control measure becomes very easy, the evaluation method becomes very very easy because it is logical and it is stepwise that you are trying to implement the various strategies.